All right, so here it is, a Pi Zero and Pi Three and Pi Three B Plus. So run on all those Pies. Uh, arcade only image. So all these games are arcades, but a total of 2,442 games. You got Neo Geo arcade games and Daphne games. Um, I think, yeah, and Zork. Um, you also have the bells and whistles on here as well. So if you're looking for an arcade set, something that's going to fit on a 32 gigabyte card that works for those three pies, look no further. Let's go ahead and check this one out. All right, we're in. We're going to use a Xbox 360 style controller. We are on the Raspberry Pi Zero. Um, I don't even think this one has it has the Wi-Fi on it. Um, I missed a button back there, but it's not that important. You definitely want select to be your hotkey. That's the default. You do need a hotkey when you first boot up. So something about this image is it is going to have music on it at first. I'll try to lower that or disable it. And then two, um, if you want this for the Pi Zero, you need to have the first boot in a Pi Zero. You can then move it to a Pi Three, um, but you need to have that first boot on the Pi Zero. So uh, here we are. We're in the image. It's a 32 gigabyte image. If you're wondering the approximate size, the image is 25.2 gigabytes. So it'll fit on most 32 gigabyte micro SD cards. In bytes, that's going to be 27 billion, 109 million, 385 thousand bytes. And as you can see, this is the bells and whistles build, the one with Cody, the Pixel, the Jukebox, the Chromium, the Steam Broadcasting. But this is the Pi Zero. So, you know, if you have the W, you do get Wi-Fi. But uh, if you want to do Ethernet, you'd have to like get a hub and then add a add a USB dongle to the pub because there's not enough USB ports on the Raspberry Pi Zero. But the great thing about the Raspberry Pi Zero is you can get them as cheap as five dollars at like Micro Center, for example. Unfortunately, if you're gonna buy them online, there's a markup and people, you know, with shipping and everything. You know, uh, the cheapest price that I see like on a daily basis is like you know fourteen, fifteen dollars. But that can change, you know, with time. Um, it depends if you're getting the W or the non W. Just in case you didn't know, Pi Zero W has Wi-Fi built in. It's a little bit newer, but it's no faster. And then the uh, this the regular zero does not have a Wi-Fi chip built in on it, so you do not get Wi-Fi. You'd have to you'd have to use a dongle or use some sort of adapter uh, with it. Now um, here we are. You can see we have some collections things like that, but um, we do have Jukebox, we do have Chromium, Chromium. So you could watch Netflix on this potentially, but this is a slow board. Um, as I mentioned earlier, you can totally put this in a Raspberry Pi 3 if you like this image. So this isn't a Raspberry Pi Zero only image, it's a either or. Um, if you do want it for a Raspberry Pi Zero though, the first time you boot up this image, you're gonna wanna put it in a Zero. So you have the Bezel Project installed, there was a recent release on the Bezel Project. They're now much smaller, so you can get a lot more bezels with a lot less space needed. You got Easy Hacks Toolkit on here, all the tweaks you're gonna need. Uh, so to me, this is even more valuable now because on the Pi Zero, as I mentioned, it's harder to get on Wi-Fi, um, especially if you don't have the W and you're limited on the amount of ports. So you're hooking up a keyboard, hooking up a controller gets a little bit more tricky. Um, but as you can see there, there's a little bit of lag here. You can switch Genesis with Mega Drive. So and these, all these scripts are pre-installed for you. Um, some of the scripts, though, will require you to hook it up to Ethernet. Like, for example, the Bezel Projects, if you want to update the latest, you want to download a new theme, you do need to be on some sort of internet to do that. But uh, some of these other ones, like, you know, sound fixes and Dreamcast date and time fix can be done without being hooked into the internet. So this is a fully built out bells and whistles build. From what I understand, they were building an arcade image and they, you know, where this is where Dirty Gaming and Regilod and uh, they decided, you know, to dump it on a Pi Zero base image. So this is going to give you the base image you need to, um, this one doesn't show all games. I want to see what all games are here. Automatic game collections. Let's do all games done and last played. So let's go back, back, back here. And um, you can overclock this to make it run a little faster if you are on the Raspberry Pi Zero. I've done videos on how to do that in the past. Um, but let's see how many games total this is running. Um, but really brief recap, it's just a 32 gigabyte with a really nice arcade set. Um, all games, 2,442. So does this, is it just, yeah, this is just going to be 
an arcade build. So you're gonna have your CPS one, two, and three. You're gonna have some game collections here. Like this is all, should all be verse games maybe? Okay, yeah, all Nintendo arcade games. And some Neo Geo and arcade classics. And you have Daphne installed as well. Dragon's Lair, Dragon Lair 2, Space Ace. Now, if you have a powered hub, you can hook up a keyboard, but you're gonna, you can hot switch out, I've noticed in some games. Like I can go ahead and unplug my controller right now and plug back in a keyboard. Um, you know, you can do that, it's a little tricky, but it is possible. The easiest thing to do though is get a powered hub and just hook up multiple devices through a, a hub, you know, a four USB port hub. But Arcade Classic, you have 2,282 games, and um, I guess no video snaps on here. So just the JPEGs, which is good. Um, this 22 on 2 ice is not gonna run on the Pi Zero, I can tell you that. Or if it does, it's gonna run bad. So let's try Aero Fighters. Really great games for the Super Nintendo as well. Really fun, shoot them up. Um, and I'm not gonna fast forward this, I'm gonna show you, you know, how long it will take to jump into a game here. And uh, the Raspberry Pi Zero, I mean, it's, it's, it's a, you know, it's, it's trying. It's trying as hard as it can. Uh, that's like a nice way of saying it's pretty slow. So here you go, we have the bezel project installed. And uh, you can see it's a vertical game. So we have a hotkey button, so hitting select should insert tokens in here. Okay, we're inserting tokens with select. Let's go ahead and go in, we'll be USA. We're gonna be Keaton over here with his beautiful hair. You can see another picture of him there on the bezel itself. And uh, as you see, it's a little, I think this is just a little bit of how the game runs, but um, it's totally playable. Now, something I'm noticing really quickly though, is you might want to, a lot of these arcade games will run much better on a faster system. Can I go through that? Mm, look at that. And this is the Raspberry Pi Zero, so. There's a reason, okay, ports is a shortcut for that. There's a reason why these don't run super, super fast. I mean, the thing about the Raspberry Pi that's great is it doesn't necessarily crash all that much comparatively. Um, so all the Neo Geo games, you get a box art for them. Something else with this image that's kind of weird is you have to, um, it takes a while for the controller to register. So keep that in mind, just keep pressing some buttons until you can hit that select button and uh, enter in some tokens. Got him. Man, there's some considerable amount of lag there. We're gonna go ahead and try this image in a uh, Raspberry Pi 3 now. All right, we're now in a Raspberry Pi 3, and as you can see, it saved our controller configs, and just look how much faster this is um, in the Raspberry Pi 3. So really, the, it, you really should get a Raspberry Pi 3, I think is the, uh, let's play Aero Fighters again. Oh, we were in, we were in Arcade Classics Aero Fighters, right? So let's play the same game. Uh, so you can see the difference side by side and uh, just right off the bat it is like way faster boot times not only in game between games but um, between games but as well as the uh, you know controller registering the uh, boot time from when you turn on your Raspberry Pi to the actual games Am I playing the wrong game? Was I playing two before? Dang it. Look at that. Short term memory. Got some P. Ooh. Not a good move. Not a good move. Better than that, Drew Tox. Ooh. This guy's got a lot of bullets. So, as you can see, he's totally playing, totally playable. I mean, it's awesome. Still has the Bezel Project, still has all that other stuff. 
And then the other game we played was uh, two, right? Fatal Fury two. Um, and then now we have way more input. So if we want to play Daphne, you can hook up a keyboard really easily. Um, Ethernet is super easy. If you want to download stuff, you just plug in an Ethernet port, or you should have Wi-Fi. So really easy stuff. I mean, I would say it's a good uh, two to three times faster. All right, so we got some coins plugged in, and uh, let's pick it. Oh, that's why I picked both opponents. Going through so fast. So it's definitely running better. The pie, I mean, the Pi Zero, it's playable. You know, this game is a little bit clunkier in that regard. But um, it is better on the Pi 3. Is it like light years better? Not necessarily, but it's, it's, it's noticeably better. All right, so Neo Geo, Daphne's running. And you're gonna take advantage of these bells and whistles a little bit more, which is the Steam and the ports and the Chrome, Chromium if you wanna watch Netflix. And Jukebox, it's a, it's a really cool actually. You basically can turn your uh, Pi into a media center, a uh, music player, so really cool stuff. So what do I think as a Pi Zero image? I mean, I've got to give it a, I'll give it a B plus. Like it's definitely good. And we, you know, I do know people that like to put like Pi Zeros in arcades or put them inside of an arcade stick. So you have this like portable arcade system. And don't get me wrong. A lot of these arcade games, especially the more old school ones will run just fine on the Pi Zero. It's not that big a difference. When you get into the more graphically intense games though, you do kind of, uh, you know, that extra speed does come in handy. Um, that's not to say you can do additional optimizations and overclock, which will make it even better with the Pi Zero users. Now, you Pi 3 users, um, great image, got to give it an A. It's a great arcade set, bells and whistles all there. So um, that part is really great. Um, so thanks to Word Dirty Gaming, thanks to Regilod, uh, Dwayne Hurst. This was his original theme, which is Blu-ray, and they kind of made like an edited version of it. And everyone else who helps out in the community as well. Um, it, the size is right on. So with all that said, that's what I think. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll catch you guys on the next one.